Welcome back, everybody. This is Bit Nation doing a crit hits of Homefront the Revolution. Right off the bat, I'm gonna go ahead and say glitched as hell. And no. <laughs> um, the first one was okay, although these are not connected in any way, shape, or form other than by the publisher, I believe. Mm hmm. Yeah. Um, otherwise, you know, it's just your standard, oh look, the North Koreans did stuff and then they took us over and now we're fighting back. Yep. So, uh, Sam and Eric here, and we're going to talk about why this game sucks and why you shouldn't buy it. And Very the, much. the few, uh, if there are a few, uh, qualities about it that you might maybe like. Okay. We're going to tell you right now, it is not worth the asking price of fifty nine ninety nine. No, it's not. Do not even, no, no just don't. Just don't. Get it on this Steam is, sale for, like, maybe half that. Maybe. This is extremely glitch, the glitchy game right out the bat, and that's the console version, which it was then ported to PC, which means the PC version is even glitchier. Yeah, I mean, even if, even if they had, like, a sh metric shit ton of patches to, to fix all this stuff, I'm not even sure it would be worth $59.99 at that point. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know, because there are some stuff that's wrong with it, other than the glitchiness. Basically, this is the area that you've got to work with. You know, you've got this area, this area down here. Just pretty much, you here, unlock here, more here. areas over time, but essentially yeah. this is the area we have to work with right now. Uh, I don't think there's much more to unlock. I don't think any of this does anything. And then this is the starting area. Um, basically, you've got tunnels to each of the different sections you've got these little strong point areas that you take very far cry-esque yeah. yeah uh then uh bike stash uh you turn on radios to spread re uh the revolution propaganda mm -hmm. resistance stash for money gun locker for m more guns and shit a job board so you can get money side missions in general yeah. right? and then that would be a uh, main like a main a main mission now going back to the transportation portion of it they they very kindly give you that to drive around and however like everything like pretty much everything in this game it's incredibly difficult to control to control and you end up Fuck it. Not only revealing yourself very easily, but like getting yeah. yourself into shitty positions where you die. This is the gunsmith locker. You can sell valuables that you find around. Customize your loadout. I'm gonna go ahead and move shit around a little bit so and that my assault rifle pops up first. This brings up one of the very few things I've found about this game that is new, that is unique, that I like, actually. Mm. Uh, the weapon customization. Go on to the weapon and then press up on the D-pad. Press up on the D-pad and as you can see here, this is, this is your customization screen. It's real time and while you're doing it, I mean, while you're in the thick of it, if you need to change your weapon from, let's say, a crossbow into a flamethrower, you can. Yep. Very easily. Um, you just change it by doing this and now it's a pistol again. And now turn it into the pneumatic pistol. Oh no, that was the pneumatic pistol. This is now the pistol. Okay. So as you can yeah, see so here... you can choose between mm -hmm. pneumatic and then the submachine gun. To fit your playstyle. So this is actually... I wish more games did this. This is excellent, in my opinion. But as you can see, tons of glitching. Even when you're screwing with stuff, it like, glitches yeah. out completely. So you'll notice that... And Very glitchy. If they do have patches for that, great. It will make this game a bit more playable. But that is everywhere. These are resistance fighters, they work with you. Yeah, another mechanic of this game that is pleasant, however, the AI of this game can really sucks ass. You recruit them, well, yeah. not this guy, but... You can, you, you can recruit them to follow you in, into doing missions and whatnot, and they spread. As you take more and more land, they spread. Yeah. So that's that's pretty cool. That that That's another that's another plus to this game. Here we go, transportation. Ready? Very, very shitty. And Whoa. very hard to control. Whoa, whoa! Jesus. And there's... Obviously, there's parts of this game that are made for you to, like, use... Utilize this transportation. But if the... Tramp if the... Tra tra transportation is so shitty... Yeah, it's... like, there's these ramps everywhere that... You're meant to use them, and then it's like... Oh, okay, well, there we go. Yeah. 
I mean, it makes it makes storming strongholds such as this one easier. That's for sure. Uh, you know, but, if you don't mind everybody knowing that you're going to be there, which I don't. Yeah. I don't like that at all. Uh, cell phone, you know, you can take pictures of information, go through the journal entries that you find all over the place, messages, and then your mission log so you can go through stuff. This would be a safe house, which you can't enter when you're in, when you're being followed by the bad guys. Um, and as far as the bad guys are concerned, um, the AI, like I said, is kind of stupid. Yeah. Um, the AI for both the bad guys and the good guys yeah. is kind of stupid. Although, I, I have to say, what Melee... What shit was that? I have no idea. I have to say, though, doing, doing, melee, doing melee kills is really nice. I melee like kills is pretty much the only thing in this that I would find entertaining. So, um, I mean, as far as the voice acting is concerned, it's passable. I don't know who any of the people are, so I don't think they put any real effort into that whatsoever. Um, yeah, I, mean, if, I mean, if they didn't have the money to, I mean, whatever. But what else? What were they sinking their money into? Finding bugs? <laughs> I don't yeah. know. Definitely not. Um, but as far I mean... Uh, Things sound okay, I guess. The game sounds fine, it's just very glitchy, and the glitches can get you killed, and uh, even if it's not the, even if it's not like a glitch where you lag out, a lot of times a weapon will glitch and it'll switch to a different one on accident, and then you'll be stuck in a firefight with not the right weapon, and then you get killed. Yeah. Yeah, so Which that's like a the, the, in, in a first or you'll be shooter. like, oh, I'm trying to jump over this, but you won't jump over right away. Um, I would wholeheartedly recommend that you stay Hold away from off. this. Yeah, stay away from this until like a Steam sale where it slashes the price by fifty to seventy percent. If you want to play it at all, because it's it's passably entertaining, but like you know, it's it's kind of like one of those games where it's just drag everything out and then I don't know like it's like, trying to be it's trying to be like a far cry it's trying it's to be not. too many things at once yeah. and it's just not doing it it's, it's just not job. I mean like if you want to play something like this just play far cry I mean this this setting notwithstanding where the United States has been invaded and whatnot I mean like far cry just is better in every way than this yeah you know but that's but, uh, pretty much all I've got to say. I mean, you can... One final thing before we go, you know, it's like... You can fast travel between areas by going to the tunnel and then say fast travel to this red zone. Red zones are bad places. Uh, you know, yellow zones are heavily policed, but uh, they're not, like, dangerous. The guys won't shoot you on sight. In red zones, they'll shoot on sight. Um, you know, other than that, the the quickest way to earn money is in red zones. Flashpoint missions pop up that earn you money, either that or do assassination missions that are at uh, assassination boards that are in the stronghold, which I'll show you real quick. Assassination things. These you can make money on, but, uh, you know, other than that, it's like, eh. It's a passable game. I wouldn't sink too much money into it. A final thought for me. Sam and I were talking about this earlier. Um, if this game was made like five to ten years ago, would it would it be as bad as, as it is? And my opinion is, if you're not going to put the effort in, it doesn't matter when you built it. But graphically speaking, it looks like it should have been made five years ago. Yeah. Yeah, graphically speaking, this could have come out on the 360, and at, I mean, it's just not impressive. It just isn't. Nothing about it, really, except for maybe the, the, the gun customization is anything interesting to me. Yeah. I don't really find anything interesting or impressive, because it doesn't make, even, like, the storyline overall doesn't make a whole lot of sense, because it's just like, okay, so we outsourced our entire defense contracting budget to Korea and then they just turned off all of our weapons and attacked us. North Korea, mind you. Yeah. It's like, how and why? 
That doesn't make sense. No. But that's all I have really to say about this game. Yep. Thumbs down. Thumbs. The first time in Crit Hits history, thumbs down. It's unanimous, don't get it. Yeah. At least not right now, if ever. On a Steam sale, maybe, if you want to play it and whatever. Yep. Anyways, from all of us here at Bit Nation, my name's Eric. And Sam. See you all next time. Bye.